How sad that your station has dropped to such a low as to show a gay couple kissing on your newscast, wrote one viewer. Another one said, I'll never watch your news again. So long, News for Jax. Then there's, I thought this was a family-friendly news channel. It is a kiss that has gotten a whole lot of attention. This couple, married for about a year, embraced for the first time in months after a long deployment. And News for Jax was there last Friday when the USS The Sullivans returned with more than 300 sailors aboard. The ceremonial first kiss, it's a lottery that sailors' spouses donate to a good cause to be entered into. But this same-sex kiss caused some people to lash out with negative comments. I spoke with the couple and the Navy about the negative and positive reactions. They locked lips for the first time in a long time. How long? Seven months. Sailor Brian Woodington on deployment aboard the USS The Sullivans in the Middle East. I was excited and I couldn't wait for it to happen. Here at home, his husband Kenneth, who works in special education, patiently waiting. He got off the ship and I lost all control. I just dropped everything and I just ran. <laughs> You heard the cheers, the image very similar to this iconic one from 1945. And I knew I was going to dip them. But we also got jeers. News for Jacks bombarded with phone calls and emails. How sad that your station has dropped to such a low as to show a gay couple kissing on your newscast, wrote one viewer. Another one said, I'll never watch your news again. So long, News for Jacks. Then there's, I thought this was a family-friendly news channel. The couple is aware of the negative comments. Internet users posted them on Naval Station Mayport's page as well. It didn't really bother me, honestly. I, I'm a type of person who doesn't really care that much about what people say. My grandmother always taught me. She said, you know, some people have had a different life and that's just how they are. And you just have to, you know, treat them, treat them as such and, and treat them with kindness and respect. To be fair, these newlyweds say they've gotten way more positive feedback than negative, and the Navy has been nothing but kind and accepting. Both tell us this is a teaching moment. It's 2018, and they feel that love is love. I gave them nothing but love and care and understanding right, right out the gate, so I think we just fell for each other really hard, and we both knew what we really wanted. I also talked with Bill Austin. He is the spokesman for Naval Station Mayport. He says a same-sex first kiss has happened before, and it's not an issue at all for the Navy. He tells us the branch has always been gender neutral and on the forefront of progress.